Are you ready? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jeff, aka Geekers, here with another DSP uh, edition of uh, React video. Basically, this is uh, going to be a very small snippet of a video that I came across earlier today due to our friend Duty Streams. But as always, click that subscribe button, click the bell, click the like because we all love it when people dunk on. DSP gaming, but anyway, so basically the video I'm going to be doing a response to uh, the video itself from uh, duty streams. It's called uh, DSP new 10 year plan. Give me money and I'll take my wife on a staycation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, so that that's basically what I'm going to be doing a react to. Um, yeah, so let's get to it, shall we? Let, let, let's get to it. Okay, so let's pull up the video. Sal, the villain says, what about a vacation? Vacation's not in the cards right now for a couple of reasons. It, there's always a couple of reasons. But the most common reason that our boy, Fulberto, likes to use is that there's either uh, the wife's hours are, you know, the wife's hours are just totally weird. They're weird, dude. They're weird, man. And, and he doesn't want to risk Cat losing her place in the company. That's right. And then the other uh, excuse is Jasper Kitty. You know, you, we all know who Jasper Kitty is. It, Jasper is that poor mutilated cat that Phil adopted, you know. But we all know that Phil did something to that cat, you know. But anyway. Anyway. Yeah, so when Phil Birdo, he, he gets on a kick using one specific excuse... He always uses it. It, 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 it. it always happens. It's a guarantee, you know. It's kind of like when Phil learns a new word like seeth or felt or a toggle, whatever the fuck that means. But, you know, it's the same thing. It's just with lies, you know. But anyway, let's continue on. Okay. Reason number one, my wife and her work schedule and everything is crazy right now. <clears throat> we don't even know consistently when she's working, how much she's working. Um... Okay, so let, let, let's just fucking cut to the chase, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just fucking cut to the chase. Because that's something I like to do. I like to cut to the chase, even though my videos are bigger than my... Are, 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 like, bigger in size than my huge fucking ass. But anyway. he They're not sure about her hours and all her days and all that. You want to know why they're not so sure about her hours or her days? Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to tell it to you, like, the way it should be. I'm about to lay the smack down on this. So get ready. It's about to get real heavy. Anyway. Last I heard, Catherine, the sweet, sweet surrogate mom. I mean, I mean, God damn, I keep saying surrogate mom. I meant to say wife. Wife. I am so sorry, Phil. I did not mean to say surrogate mom. I meant to say wife. I don't know why. How did that get that? Get that off the fucking screen. Anyway. Anyway. Here's the hard truth. Last I heard, Kat was working at Kroger. Odds are she was working, you know, in a very low-priority job. Let's just say she was working as what is called a beggar. Now, I'm not referring to, like, what Phil does. Phil begs, you know, for money in life. Thus, the name beggar. When I call Catherine a beggar, I'm talking about that. She literally puts your groceries into a bag. She is a beggar, you know. So, yeah, so let, let, let's just fucking be honest, Phil. Can, can I call you Phil? Because uh, I, I feel that you and me, Phil, I think we're getting a little bit of, like, we're, we're resonating a little bit here. Anyway, your wife, her job is a dead-end job. She's a beggar, most likely. She's either a beggar, she's a greeter, or she's a cart collector. Either way, none of those jobs are a fast track job. Whereas me, whereas me, I, I have a nice fast track job. I, I I busted my ass. I got the degrees. I'm making the sweet money, honestly. Today, here, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna share something. I'm gonna share something with Phil. Today, Phil. I'm without without begging, by the way, without begging. I made nearly two hundred dollars. Not bad. Not bad, is it? Not bad at all. And Pierre Phil is having to 
beg. Beg. Like a, like a lousy, filthy little beggar. Having to ask his viewers for their lunch money. Ooh, you should be feeling pretty damn ashamed. But yeah, your wife, your wife, she's not going anywhere, Phil. The fact is, you want to know why her hours are always in flux and you're not sure that they're not sure that what the days is that cat's going to be working? It's odds are probably because Kroger, for example, they probably overstaffed the, the beggars, the cart collectors, the graders. They probably overstaffed that section and they're now having to constantly rotate everyone just to make sure that they all get the same amount of hours you see what i'm doing here it's, it's like i'm rotating people yeah it's, it's like it's like yeah yeah i'm rotating people but anyway that's probably what it is catherine has a job where that if she was fired they could literally replace her with 15 other crackheads trust me a begging job is not a job that you're going to need like a high grade, you know, degree on. You're not going to need a master's degree to fucking put eggs into a bag. Just make sure you put the eggs on the top. Or do eggs still go in bag? I can't recall. But then again, I'm not, I'm not a beggar or something, you know. But yeah, Bill, your wife, her job is literally, literally, she could go on a 10, 10 year vacation. And they're not going to give a fuck because she's just a beggar. Or a cart, cart, uh, cart, uh, corraler, or what do you want to call it? Or a greeter. She's nobody. Me, on the other hand, if I take a day off, I need to find uh, somebody who has, who is as equally qualified as I am because the stuff I do actually makes a fucking difference. For nearly $200 a day, yeah, better fucking make a difference. Oh, God. It is so nice to make all that money. I don't have to fucking beg anyone. I'm not, I don't have to feel dirty. Oh, I got to scrub all that dirty begging off. See, I don't have to do that. I don't have to sell my, my, uh, my worth. I don't have to sell my dignity to beg people for their lunch money and their SSI checks. Money, money, money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Yeah, so, but basically what I'm trying to say, what's the heartfelt, you know, your wife is in a dead-end job, Phil. That's why they're constantly moving her hours, because they got to make sure that two-toed Timmy from the, from the wrong side of the tracks, who has a meth habit, that he's getting enough hours also. So don't fucking act like, oh, my wife... She she's in such high demand that she's needed because that, that they're just trying to you know with my her hours she's just they don't know how, what to do with her no they overstaffed Phil they overstaffed and now they're constantly having to rearrange her schedule to make sure that all the other dime bags are getting their fair share also your wife is going nowhere dude <laughs> oh what a poor lady anyway. So let's continue on. It's kind of a mess. It's a jumbled mess. It's not a happy mess at all. And, you know, we're working to, to do things like that, but there's nothing we can really do about that. It's just life, right? It's how, how life works. That's number one. Number two, we couldn't really go on a vacation because of Jasper Kitty. Jasper Kitty! What are you going to do with Jasper Kitty? Jasper! <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Is this the route that Phil is going? Phil is throwing the fucking a mutilated cat that's on death's door already. He's throwing that fucking cat underneath the bus. <laughs> oh, that poor cat. That poor fucking cat. Anyway, uh, so basically, Phil, he's going to go on. Oh, actually, let's just continue on. You know, Jasper Kitty has, has always been with us since we got him. There's been no significant time away from Jasper Kitty, and he's afraid of other people. Like when people come over to do maintenance on the house or, or whatever, he freaks out and he runs away and he hides under the bed. Okay, I refuse to believe that anybody in the last 10 plus years has gone and done work on the snort fort. I refuse to believe that, ladies and gentlemen. When you literally hear Philbert 
talking about how the lights are falling out of the ceiling. And he has black mold growing. Uh, let's not forget the fucking dishwasher. I refuse to believe that anybody fucking sets one hand on that on that toxic piece of property. I fucking refuse to believe that shit. Very friendly with us and nobody else. He's literally scared of everybody else. But can you imagine? Let's go on a vacation for two weeks and we go and poor Jasper Kitty now gets traumatized. Because we're away for two weeks and someone else has to take care of it. We'd have, probably have to go to one of those those board things. You can shelter your cat for a couple of weeks. But that's not... He's used to being in an open house all day long. Okay, that was it. That's the end of the video. Uh, basically, so we learned that basically he's a fucking lazy mooch. He's a lazy mooch. Uh, but let's go back to Jasper Kitty. The reason that he doesn't want to go on this vacation... Well, number one, because... Number one, it... He wastes a lot of money. He can't spend money on sweaty Hogan's if he has to, you know, spend money on the surrogate wife. I mean, the the, the surrogate wife, surrogate mother. I mean, God damn it, Jeff, you're getting your words. Wait, why did why did he do that? Oh well, oh well, fuck it. Why is that on the screen? Who who the fuck told OBS to get that fucking shit off the screen? Thank you. But anyway. It has absolutely nothing to do with, uh, you know, the wife not being a real wife. I said, get that off the fucking screen. Okay, anyway. Uh, going back to Jasper Kitty, the fact is he can't probably put that cat in boarding at all. The reason being, uh, I'm pretty sure that if you put your animal in boarding for uh, any amount of time, you probably have to support, supply, well, support also, but anyway supply like a health like health records to make sure that your your animal is in good shape well by the sounds of it, this fucking cat and i don't mean the wife either this goddamn cat is probably just about dead it needs like some sort of blood test it probably hasn't it probably hasn't had like a normal uh like a normal physical for a cat in years uh it probably hasn't had a checkup since it was originally adopted from whatever poor hellhole that it came from. Yeah, so the 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 the, the, the main thing here is that the, the he could not get this cat to be boarded because it probably would fail the health uh, health checks. And the thing is, you got to have your animal in perfect health when boarding it. That way, other animals do not get sick if your animal has problems or it's the other way around. If your cat, you know, is not in good shape, you don't want your cat to get sick from other animals. So that's basically what it is. It's just that Phil probably hasn't had this cat taken care of in five plus years, and it's probably nearing dead. We, we yeah, we see Jasper cr cr uh, crawling around, playing on the chair, but it's probably trying to get Phil's attention. Hey, hey, motherfucker, meow. Get me that blood test, meow. Get, I need, I need medicine, meow. That's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. But yeah, so l let's just basically just talk about what you know the two main excuses: the cat's constant fluctuating hours and days. She's a beggar. She she puts your fucking uh, steaks in a in a paper bag. She's not fucking high. That's not a high tier job, dude. It's not. I, I hate to fucking bust your bubble. It's not. It's not high tier. I've seen crackheads who who uh, grind harder than cat putting eggs in a bag. Also, the cat. Cat needs, probably needs immunity, you know, shots. It needs a clean bill of health before it can even be boarded. So that's probably another reason why. But basically the fact is Phil's fucking lying. Phil's lying. He's fucking lying. There's, that's all there is to say about it. Anyway, but yeah. So, uh, cat. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are literally living with a guy who can't even take you on a honeymoon. It's been what, cat? Six, seven, eight, nine years since you, you and, uh, the Prince of Goutopia got married and he still hasn't taken you on a goddamn honeymoon. You should be ashamed. You, you should be ashamed of yourself for allowing this to happen.
you need a guy who who can work and not beg people for their SSI money or or the pop money. You really need to get your fucking head on straight, lady. Mm mm. -mm. Pretty damn sad. Bye.